Hola estudiantes, en este video les voy a presentar los materiales de clase. Hi class, in this video you're going to be exposed to the materials that we're going to be using during this year. Class materials really provide responsibility and ownership to the students learning. I think as a teacher that when you have your own material, your own learning tools, you're going to be a little bit more responsible for your learning. In Spanish 1, we're going to have Realidades 1, which is a basic program for novice learners. In Español 3 ACC, or Spanish 3 ACC, we're going to be exploring Realidades 3. In Español AP, we're going to start with Abriendo Paso, which is a compendium of reading comprehension text about culture, about grammar topics, and different aspects of the AP Spanish advanced classes. Also, we're going to be working on AP Spanish. This document is going to give us a lot of information about how to present the AP exam at the end of the school year. Also, we're going to be um, dealing with this portfolio. Every student should have highlighters because we're going to be doing some word searches and some activities that require the use of highlighters. It is really vital that students have a writing utensil like a pen or pencil. Uh, dear student, it's really important that you know that these books, uh, Realidades 1, Realidades 3, Abriendo Paso, AP Spanish, have an online version. Every student will receive an access code and you are going to be able to have this online. Um, you can access these books using your tablet, your computer, or even your cell phone. In this video, um, my dear students, I'm going to present to you one of my friends. Clase de Español, Señor Martinez, Blaze High School. Me llamo, mi clase es, mi país es. This is the cover for your portfolio. This is going to be your friend, your teaching learning tool. So the first thing you're going to do is to pick up a paper like this from one of the baskets at the door um, in the classroom and you're going to write your name. Me llamo Mauricio and my last name Martinez. Martinez. Once you're done with that, you're going to jump into the question that says mi clase es. Let's suppose that I'm in Spanish 1 and the period 2. So I'm going to write that information on these lines. Mi país es. Uh, you can see, guys, at the door, you have been assigned a country. You need to write it down here. My country is going to be Colombia. Okay. Once you're done with that, you're going to put this in your binder or portfolio. So you binder your portfolio and you have it there. So now you have the cover of your portfolio. The next section is going to be class procedures. As I said before, you're going to be given all this material the first day. You can pick it up from some of the baskets that I have placed on the uh, desks at the entrance of the classroom. You're going to see a lot of material the first days. So class procedures. Place of high school, Clase de Español 1, 3 ACC, um, AP, Señor Martinez. You're going to be reading all these 15 numerals, and you're going to sign or write your initials after reading it, in order to show me that you read and understood the class procedures for this class. So, for example, let's read number one. Say buenos dias, buenas tardes, or hola to your teacher at the door at the beginning of the class and hasta mañana, hasta pronto, or adios at the end of the class. All right, so I understand that I have to do that at the beginning and at the end of the class, so I'm going to write my initial. Number two, come to class every day. If absent, you're responsible for the assignment for that day. You can visit Google Classroom and check missing assignments or tasks. 
I understand that, so I'm going to write my initials. And you're going to continue doing the same up to number 15. The next section, you're going to have the syllables for the year 21-22, Clase de Español, and you're going to read all this information, both sides, and in this section, especially this section, you're going to ask your mom, your dad, your guardian to write this information. A student, your name goes here, your Spanish 1 or 3ACC or Advanced Placement or EP. I state that by signing this brochure, I'm informed about Mr. Martinez's class guidelines. And you're going to ask your dad, your mom, to write his or her name here, and they are going to sign. I can be reached at, I need a phone number, or maybe an email. For maximizing and fostering a better academic and moral values educational process for my child. Let's move now to the next section. In this section, you're going to see the passes to the restroom. Class is Senor Martinez, and then uh, you can visualize the different periods or quarters. So we're going to have quarter number one. You're going to have three passes. You're going to write the date. You're going to go to the restroom, August 21st. 2021, and Mr. Martin is going to sign or write his initials on this box. So he's going to do the same with quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. In case you need to use the restroom more frequently, please let me know uh, your medical condition and maybe your doctor's excuse. We're going to move now to the next section. In this section, you're going to see Participación y Trabajo en Clase, the same Paul Blaise High School, Clase de Señor Martinez. And then I'm going to be really explicit about this paper. In this paper, you're going to write your name with pen, last name, país, the country you have been assigned, and the class, E1, P2. Español 1, Periodo 2. You're going to write activity, the activity that you're going to be doing and the day you do the activities, and then Mr. Martin is going to stamp a seal. He's going to get one of these seals, and you're going to show me that you did activity number two, four, and five on page number 234, and then the date, and Mr. Martin is going to do this. He's going to do the stamp. Every time that you complete 10 stamps, you're going to show this to Mr. Martinez, and he's going to change any minor grade. As you know, you're going to have minor and major grades. In order to replace any minor grade, lower grade, you're going to show me 10 of these stamps. If you want to change a major grade unit test, formal test, you're going to show me 20. You have five pages, five pages, and of course, you can pick them up from one of the baskets or boxes that I have at the door, one of my desks, all right? So that is what you need to do. If you need more paper, I'm going to give you uh, as many as you need. So you're going to complete all the work, assignments. Uh, Mr. Mary is going to give you points for that. I'm going to move now to the next section. Next section. You can see that. And here you're going to get a lot of paper, about 50 pages paper. Um, yeah, 50 pages. And you're going to, so you can use pencil for doing this. You're going to write the date every day, the topic and the goal. And you're going to be taking notes uh, from Mr. Martinez's explanation, videos, or um, you can write your compositions, or you can start writing your journal. This is the section in which you're going to show me your records uh, that reflect accomplishments, skills, and experiences. Uh, when you are uh, posting, you are writing, all the information about what you have been learning in class. At the end of this, you're going to be filing all the photocopies or handouts that Mr. Martin is going to be giving you during the year. Uh, we start with some mensaje escondido or circuit or hidden uh, message. We're going to be working on this vocabulary. Sometimes we're going to do uh, word searches or busca palabras, and sometimes we're going to have um, different, different crosswords. So at the end of the portfolio. This is the um, section in which you know how to find your portfolio. The portfolio is your learning tool. It's really important because it's a living and changing collection of records. 
you're going to show me your skills, your accomplishments, and of course, I'm going to use this portfolio as a formative assessment. What does it mean, formative assessment? It's just to see how you are progressing, how you are advancing in the class. So guys, it's important you have your teaching, learning tool. The portfolio is going to be really vital for your learning process in Espanol. Well guys, this is a short video about the material you're gonna be using during this year.